My friend called me the other week really upset because she had interviewed for a job that she really wanted and she didn't end up getting it. Because she was so upset, I assumed that she was going to tell me that she either bombed the interview or that she got really harsh feedback. But instead, she told me that they said that they were extremely impressed by her, that she should just keep doing what she's doing, and they simply decided to go with an internal candidate. I am not trying to minimize the disappointment of not getting a job. As someone who's been passed over for lots of jobs, I know that it can be such a blow, especially when it's a job that you thought was perfect for you and you spent hours preparing for an interview. But I genuinely believed that what my friend was telling me was good news and that not getting a job is just as much an incredible opportunity. First off, I believe that how you react to adversity speaks volumes about you. And you can't show someone your attitude unless you're faced with adversity. There is a huge difference between pity and sympathy. Nobody is going to pity you because you didn't get a job. People will empathize and sympathize with you because we've all been there. Every time that I have conducted myself with grace and expressed my gratitude for the opportunity to interview, as well as expressing my gratitude to my friends, colleagues, and mentors who helped me prepare for the interview, I have found that people are even more determined to help me and to keep me in mind for future opportunities. Second, interviews are the hidden gem of networking. People tend to think of networking as awkward cocktail receptions, but networking is truly about organic connections. If you wanna meet someone and let them be aware of your credentials, what better way than to interview with them and to get 15, 30, even 60 minutes of their undivided attention. I've interviewed for jobs that I knew I was underqualified for simply because I wanted to get on someone's radar and to let them know that I was hungry for opportunities and to work with them. Now, the caveat to using interviews as networking is that you actually have to put in the work that it takes to have a great interview. Which brings me to my third point. No hard work goes wasted. My friend might not have gotten the job, but now she can easily rattle off her greatest accomplishments, answer any interview question, and she said that she could go confidently into an interview tomorrow if she had to. Now that to me is a win. Lastly, I reminded her that the fact that she even found a job that made her so excited, that in and of itself was a big deal. Most of us will go through life having a job that's just fine. But how lucky are you if you can find something that you find fun and engaging? And if you stumbled across one job posting that gets you that excited, surely you're gonna find another one. I truly believe that the things that are meant for you will not pass you by. So like I told my friend, I encourage you to reimagine how you view interviews and not getting the jobs that you want because these are some of the best opportunities to network and to show the world what you're made of.